So right up here we have a segment and it's perpendicular bisector drawn. Keep that in mind. I'm just going to tell you a quick story here. I grew up in the town of Southington, Connecticut. And in that town, when I grew up there as a kid, they built the first Home Depot, like right over here in like 1989. I remember it. Right up here. But then years, years later, they built another Home Depot in the southwest corner of town right there. And then later on, Lowe's came by. And would you look at this? This Lowe's actually lies almost literally right on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. So if all the commercial real estate that was available when Lowe's was built after the Home Depots were built, why do you think they chose this spot right here? I love to ask my students that question and see if they can reason it geometrically. Right here we have a Home Depot in Berlin, right on the Berlin Turnpike, and we also have a Home Depot in Middletown, like right over here. And look at this, the Lowe's, you can see right behind the line, the Lowe's in Cromwell is actually right on the perpendicular bisector. Why do you think that is? Teachers, can we have students analyzing competing business locations like maybe McDonald's and Burger King, or CVS versus Walgreens, or in this case, Home Depot versus Lowe's? See which ones were built and where the, com the competitors are built. How many of them lie actually lie on the perpendicular bisector of a segment that connects any two, either nearby or in maybe sort of adjacent towns? A cool uh, activity, I think, for students versus the solve for X kind of boring stuff, right?